Well, welcome back to the InfoMoto studio, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Good on you. <laughs> um, this will be the first of a two-parter, I reckon. I just got back from a really incredible trip in Spain, uh, riding two very special new BMW motorcycles. I think today I'll focus on the M1000R Hyper Naked Bike, BMW's response to things like the Ducati Street Fighter V4S and such. A really special motorcycle. Fast, fast. We'll get into all that. I think um, I'll review some of the footage, um, talk about some of the things I learnt, and uh, stick around and I'll tell you all the important stuff you need to know, like pricing and local availability and stuff like that. So, to Spain. <laughs> Good morning, hola! Thank you so much for joining me in Spain as I get to ride the glorious delight that is the BMW M1000R. If you thought the S1000R wasn't crazy enough, well, <laughs> I've got just what you were looking for. This thing is wild. I'm a bit overwhelmed, I just threw my leg over the bike for the first time. We're heading to the mountains, and then if all goes to plan, to the Almeria circuit to really let this thing loose. I learned something quite interesting last night speaking to one of BMW's project leads on this bike, and we were speaking about the M nameplate. This is, of course, the second BMW motorcycle to um, wear the prestigious M nameplate. So what I'm getting at there is you might know that this is only BMW's second ever M motorcycle. We had the M1000RR in 2020 and now the M1000R naked bike. In effect, though, I think that the M badge replaces the HP moniker that we saw previously. You might remember the HP2, sort of an enduro cross-adventure bike from about 2004, really hardcore thing. Later, we saw the HP4, which was BMW's highest spec version of its S1000RR, but... I think BMW Motorrad wanted the HP moniker to sort of hold the same gravity as the M badge does in the car world, but it didn't really take off. So I think we'll see more M motorcycles in the future, though I'm assured it's only reserved for BMW's real high performance models. Well, this is something. The level that these bikes are at now, these naked bikes, it boggles the mind. The decisions and adjustments that the electronics package is making at any given moment. The performance of these things is just outrageous and yet everything seems to happen so smoothly. The M1000R of course sits above the S1000R naked bike. It's about a bit less than $10,000 more expensive but the leap in performance is tremendous. I think the headline is we now get the full fat BMW shift cam engine and that results in gains of 33 kilowatts to 154 kilowatts and 113 newton meters. That's actually the same amount of power as the S1000RR makes. And the whole thing weighs 199 kilograms with full of fuel and oil. So yeah, fast. We've also got shorter gearing, stuff like that. There's changes all over the bike. You'll notice the huge aerodynamic package. We've got massive winglets and a revised tail section. And that's one thing that really struck me riding the MR is the downforce. Um, that front wheel does not want to come off the ground and that gives you so much confidence coming out of corners. The front end is glued to the road. Of course it will wheelie. We've got 154 kilowatts. It'll wheelie. <laughs> but um, one 
technology feature I did use is you get four levels of wheelie control, uh, one where the front wheel doesn't come off the ground, which is probably what you want if you're trying to go really fast. But there's also one that allows a little bit of wheelie, a bit more wheelie, which is cool because you just pin it and it holds a wheelie for you. <laughs> does the work for you um, and of course you can just turn it completely off if you want to oh my god this thing revs even harder than the s1000 r even at 8000 rpm oh my god it feels like a rocket ship what the hell happens up over 12,000. Oh, we'll be finding out. Oh. <laughs> this is the real bloody deal. It really is a friendly sports bike, considering how much grunt it offers. BMW is really good. At dialing in its rider modes. And giving you knowing. Oh my god. And knowing what you want from the bike when you twist your wrist. Holy. I don't know if you've ever ridden an S1000R <laughs> The last thing I thought was Man, that needs more power Well, now we've got a lot more power What's it like? Insane, basically Probably the word that's coming to mind These roads were so nice, just corner after corner after corner hardly any traffic and just billiard table smooth tremendous if you ever get the chance look at this awesome little spanish town it's little wonder spain exports such fine motorcycle races like mark marquez and co and they've got these roads in their backyard the place is astonishing so is this motorcycle. This is such an incredible little patch of road. Tell you what, the front end feel on this bike is just incredible. I can't remember the last time. I felt this comfortable riding this quick on the road. The pull out of corners. Oh man! This thing's out of this world. <laughs> the brakes. The noise! <laughs> the acceleration! <laughs> yeah man, I was having a good time, eh? Those roads are so stunning, so stunning. Just smooth as you like and amazingly, you know, no traffic. I might have passed probably 10 cars all day, I think. And we were really hooking in too. I was with a really fast crew, man. We weren't mucking around. I'm pretty sure if we did that sort of thing in Australia, I'd be in prison right now. <laughs> I'd be under the prison. Really starting to make friends with this bike now. It was quite intimidating earlier in the day, but you really can trust it. When I jumped off the bike before, after that pretty quick section, man, I was almost in shock. 
jelly legs, you know? And it's not because of, it's not a feeling of fear, it's just, it's almost unhuman to be moving like this. It feels unnatural. And yet somehow so organic. Is that a bit too poetic? <laughs> it brings it out in me. All right, we're playing in the big league now. I'm told that this track is very difficult to get your head around. Fast, complicated. <laughs> but I'm in good company. Wow. So smooth. So grippy. I'm going to take my time and see if I can carve out a little bit of a lap, hey? You only live once. Well, that's a feeling. That's a fucking feeling. You really can't top that feeling. Full gas on a straightaway in Spain. Incredible, man. Incredible. There's been minor changes to the suspension and chassis over the S1000RR, but not a complete overhaul. But we do now get M1000RR brakes, so BMW's M brakes. And, man, the power was thrilling, but I think one of the things that caught me off guard was the braking force is just so tremendous. It was something... I really, uh, I really didn't expect. But one of the really cool electronic features is brake slide assist, which also now appears on the S1000RR. It, in effect, it enables you to hold a slide into corners under brakes. It enables you to drift into corners with a controlled slide, as they call it. So here's a video of uh, what that looks like. Another marvellous stretch of road. I tell you what, it's pretty hard to imagine how you make a naked sports bike. Much better than this. I know people say that all the time and then they come out with something else, but... They have optimized and optimized every single part of this motorcycle. Every single rider mode setting has been sweated over and sweated over. To make a bike that's ludicrously capable on road and track. But people like me can still ride it. It's not scary. It's a sophisticated and brutish scalpel. You know, the motorcycle industry isn't what it once was in terms of sales performance and stuff like that. But, people are still making motorbikes like this. And that tells me that 
We're in good hands. Motorcycling's here to stay and long may that be the case. Look at this country. Unbelievable. So BMW will launch the M1000R to Australian showrooms in the early part of 2023, uh, priced from 32290 right away. It'll also be available in a higher spec variant called M Competition, and that adds um, even more stuff, the fully adjustable foot rests, um, uh, carbon wheels, a bunch of stuff. So it lifts the specification again. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I urge you to subscribe to the Infomoto channel if you haven't already, because in the next video, I ride the S1000RR. If you thought the M1000R was wild, this thing just turns it up that much more.